three, two, one, go. Yeah, do it, it, it taking a second. You always miscount this. Why not play anything? I think you should start counting after he presses enter. Yes. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Do. All right, one one piece of happiness. Welcome to BT Podcast, episode number fifty-eight. I am Ali, joined by Lachlan, Yo, Kelly, Hi. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Hello, my mic do strange things sometimes. Kelly, I hate Hi. you. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, look for you. Why I get call ass? I was here before Kali. What? What she fucking order anything? It's the podcast. It's the call order. I just listened to that. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. If you <laughs> want, I can be Z man. The moment has passed, so, Kali. The moment has passed. Thank you, Kali. Nah, nah, do Thank you for offering the. <laughs> you see that Kali's oh, a real one. I don't know why Jonathan was talking about. Kali is a real gentleman. Fuck you, Kali. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't even do anything. This whole world is oh, fucking doing. That was rich coming from you, boy. <laughs> Shut <the> fuck up. <laughs> I'll be less than sixteen. I is a uh, sixteen. Very original. Uh, you know what? Uh, sorry, no, sorry. Two people can't choose the same thing. Fine. <laughs> I am a three. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's twenty five Kellys on the thing. Damn. Oh, it's no, five of us. Yeah, you picked 16. <laughs> Tonight has been a good night. So we're running at 20. Well, you're feeling good. Yeah, man. I, I like a 13. Nice. Because your mom just called you? Oh, right. Yeah, I meant to say, my mom called me just now to tell me that she's one foot in the grave. So she wanted to check on oh, me to share sure myself. Oh. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. No, actually, my mom is like perfectly fine. She just said her knee was hurting, and yeah, that's how oh. she phrased it. That what? is a reasonable reaction. I mean, <laughs> my leg hurts. <laughs> Let me write my will. <laughs> yes. Speaking of, she just ran like every once in a while. She's running like, oh yeah, I gotta write my will in case I die because you never know when that's gonna happen. I mean, sure, right? I, yeah, I guess. Prepared. No, but... ever. My mother's been talking about her imminent death for the past at least five years. <laughs> Why is she? Why is she discussing <laughs> an impending doom? I am worried. No, because it's impending. That means it's gonna come sometime. Exactly. Yeah, but it's too soon. Can we? Can we do it on the TV? Know this woman, Kelly. Um, uh, six. Nice. Uh, I'm African. This episode brought to you by the following struggle <laughs> tweet. Colin, go ahead. Did we do this already? Did we? Oh, no, no, man. <laughs> Guys, why we have Republic Day again? <laughs> Go ahead. Give, give, give me context to that one, Kobe. Give, That's give. a great question. Because <laughs> we just had our first one, right? And I still know I like, never told me. What? Why we celebrate Republic Day. That is <laughs> no, okay, Kobe. See, uh, it's the commemorative opening of Republic Bank all those years ago. The more you know. No, 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 <laughs> it is the commemoration of Antibago becoming a republic in, I don't know, I don't know any fucking days. <laughs> it's oh, September 24th. 24th. Uh, yeah. You are bad training. September 24th, I can't remember I mean, what year. Yes, 24th of September. It's 24th, yeah. What year? 1917? Yeah, you became a republic. How oh, dare you? 74? I think it's 74. I will take your word for it, you know, even though you just didn't know what it was. At <laughs> some point. I, I will believe you. Because I don't know anybody. <laughs> Damn yes, etch stitch it to my brain, dude. Hey, my, hey, hey, I'm not his lesson. <laughs> I, I, I will take you with it, cause so you only when you're doing ten social studies, you only remember the date, and then that was it. One more thing yeah, you know? I, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure, go through. Okay, anybody have like anything else they want to bring up before we get into it? What you guys remember those old State Farm ads, like the like a good neighbor State Farm is there? They still have uh, that. I meant- 
No, but like the ones where it was like they would say that and then it would like summon like an insurance agent. Yeah. 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 That was the best. That was the Those best. were like my favorite genre of ads as a kid because I was like, you mean I can just like summon someone to give me whatever I want? Yes. Is that um, not great? I it maybe want State Farm. No, nice. yes. me as a child aspire to have State Farm insurance. How, how's it's that working out? What's the progress towards that goal going? Like, let me hear. I don't think they have State Farm in Canada. Oh, unfortunate. So I will never have my own personal um, State Farm agent. Yeah. It's basically just a genie in khakis. Yeah. Yeah, bro. And who doesn't want the genie to wear khakis? He has unlimited knowledge in terms of your insurance. I could give you whatever you need at any given time. I, I and guess also so. cover insurance. The story That's I was the, telling is like, there is this one version of the ad where it's just like, this woman summons like her State Farm agent and gets like money, and then this other woman is like, not from State Farm and summons her insurance agent, and it's just a guy with a dollar bill on the fishing rod, and he's like, oh, you gotta catch it, and then yep. she's like. And on, I remember that one, but you know, the first one, she just wanted to find out how much she would have saved on buying a purse with, her, um, with one of her insurance thing. Some so stuff. she ended up buying the purse, and the other one was looking for money, and this old man just came yeah. out fishing at the... <laughs> it's cool, so you're meant to talk as like how hard it is to get your money from other insurance companies or something like that. Yeah. They were really operating on that man. I just remember it because when the old guy comes up, he's always like, oh, you gotta be quicker than that. And yeah. I voice that in my head all the time, and I never remember where it's from. Yeah. There you go. It's one of those references I make and no one ever gets. Like, every reference yeah, I ever make. I get it, Lachlan. <laughs> because I just explained it. No, I, I knew it before. Okay. Yeah. But, like, if I had made the reference before explaining it... I probably would have gotten it. Oh, you see, yes, that probably is too trustworthy. <laughs> what the fuck more you want from me? Look, when I swear on the blood of my first born child, I would have gotten that reference. Oh, Are you happy what? now? What happened? Damn. On the blood of my first born child, I solemnly swear that I would have gotten that reference. Eh. Thank you, John Finale. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Anyways, mm-hmm. so, like, this past week in Ghana, right? It's been like the worst week weather wise because every week, I mean, every day has had a different special like weather warning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like, the <laughs> other day, yeah, the other day was like pouring rain after like weeks of negative degree weather, and it was any positive. So, all the snow was melted, but yeah. all the ice didn't melt. Oh, yeah. So, like, I was taking my normal shortcut to the parking lot and Throughout my entire time in Canada, I have never slipped on ice at all and fell down. Like, never. <laughs> Until um, I took a okay. step in that parking lot and immediately I slipped and I was like, I recovered. Right? <laughs> then I slipped, yeah, I slipped again and fell on my ass. Don't catch me slip because I'm slipping. Did anybody see you? No, I was in a parking lot. No. Um, I have fallen down infinitely more times, like, since I've been back in the past few months than I had for like my entire time in Canada before. Like I nearly fell down whenever last time I went to school was. Okay, but like that was because we lived on campus. So it's like easier for us to get around. No, but like even like if I was off campus then, like I never, like I had, actually no, I fell down one time going to church. <laughs> but like, <laughs> Lord was not with me that day. But like, cause like the other, I don't know, like when I was walking out onto the street at a time, because of how the ice was, it was going out like onto the road. Yeah. So like I had to like track over ice and then like avoid from slipping while I was already in the street because there was ice on the road and I nearly fell down as cars were coming. It was not a good time. Mm. Um, I remember when I was working uh, two years ago, Jan, and I was living on King Street then. And I came out and I was going to cross the road. No, I, I crossed the road and then I was wearing really, really heavy winter boots. That's the one I had you keep for me, Ali, that I sold. Yeah. I tripped on the laces and fell face first oh. onto the pavement and snow. Ooh. But the worst part was that somebody just walked right beside me. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just looked at me and then kept walking. You know, they always say how Canadians are so nice. He's like, damn, you fell. 
Yeah, right. Dog, dog, buddy. Yeah, you just walk off. <laughs> Uh, if there's one thing I will say about Canadians is that they do not give a shit about you. <laughs> yeah. They will mind I was their mortified. Mm. No, but, like the story gets loose, right? Because it was raining at the start of the day. I went back home because I just had like such a gap in between classes. I was like, go home and work out and eat food and then go back out again. So Exercise? Like, yeah. Jonathan, yeah, yeah for like a couple months now. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I put on like when 10 pounds. Games, you know, when you come back, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, man. Like... I put on like a pound a week <laughs> right now. You what? I put on like a pound a week right now. That's oh. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well yeah. done. What? Well done. Oh, so I said hold on. I was like, what? How much time? Yeah, right right anyway. anyway. <laughs> right, That's I'm waiting to the hill while I was walking <laughs> home. When I was going back out again, it turned into snow. After I was done with class at like 10 p.m., it was a full-on snowstorm. And they was like shutting down buses and shit, so I like barely get a bus to come home. And then I was just trudging through a snowstorm, like walking up to the bus up to home. And then I took a step onto the road. And that was ice. So I went from never slipping at all to slipping down and falling twice in one day. <laughs> so that was humbling. It's like, it's like drugs. The first time is all you need. And then you yeah, it's a slippery slope. <laughs> That's where it comes from. <laughs> anybody? <laughs> By the way, does anybody no. remember the chemical process that goes between putting salt on ice? No. Just for nobody, I, I don't. Nobody. Does, it not, does it not lower the um freezing point? Yeah, because it impurities in water make it essentially the way I remember is that impurities in water just make it so that it stays liquid longer. Yeah. I see, I see. Which should stay, uh, yeah. Not stay. That's I got a one with that chemistry. Congratulations. I oh, I never use it again. <laughs> Wait, I like the C sex. I should be proud of this. <laughs> God. Anyway, anyway. I one once and I feel like I feel like she wanted me to feel for the rest of my life. <laughs> Who? <laughs> My chemistry teacher. Oh, no, no, nah, she was the worst dog. Fuck, she dog. No, nah, you were. She was terrible. There is something about chemistry teachers. Imagine that I, get, I, uh, I managed to pass chemistry despite that shit she put me through. Yeah, mm-hmm. fuck that dog. I didn't see that one. I used to be, and I used to be dogs at, um, but I had my teacher, and I feel, I feel poorly. I vex, I hey, do what that. Hey, what you that? Fine. I am fine. Oh, I'm fine. I'm a five is still a pass. I should... I, wait, okay. uh, C-Sec or K-Pop? C-Sec a five is a fail. Is it? No, it's a pass too. This is... they C-Sec it. only one to three. No, they changed it like a right before we, we write it, didn't we? Oh, did they? I think yeah. so. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh. I still I still I believe. I don't know if I'd... Ma- I would not mind doing business or accounts now, especially if it was accounts actually. I wouldn't mind doing accounts instead of ad maths now. But mm-hmm. if I wanted that, because I was listening to people saying oh, how you need to do admats if you want to do physics in form six, and I listened to them, and I couldn't even do the admats properly. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. couldn't. I just couldn't grasp it. That was the whole problem. I just couldn't mm-hmm. grasp it. Oh wait, quick! Everyone, tell me what subjects you did at fucking at CXE. At CXE, CXE is the whole CXE. fucking thing, boy. Hmm? CXE is the organization. You know I at uh, CSAC. Well, you know what you mean? No, we what, don't because what exams CXC, you call CSAC, that? and keep okay. You Well, then tell me what exam you did at CSAC. Gosh. Right, okay. Let me, let me just type it out. I eat you. Everybody just do that. <laughs> everybody, everybody just... Yeah, you're right. I, I'm not trying to speak that much. Some kind of podcast or something. What do you call What do we call that if... We can't call it CXC exam. CSAC? What do we call that level of... Is C-Sec? C-Sec? I C-Sec? Yes, or Jackass! Yeah. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I thought C-Sec is Form 6! That's how I did it! No, that's Keep. Keep is Form 6 code. Okay, Keep is Form 6. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Uh, okay. okay, grade 1 to 4 is a pass. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. So he still failed. Yeah, hard looks so. Right. Whoops. 
French. Yeah. Yeah, you could do French. What are we doing? Uh, the language was so mandatory. Language. And I oh. preferred French to Spanish. CSAC? What the hell did I do at CSAC? <laughs> mm. Oh, you did French too? Yeah, nice. first one language. Parlez-vous uh, Francois? I'm gonna just oui? steal what I remember. What? Oui? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's right, all English. English. Non c'est la vie. What? <laughs> Wait, c'est la vie. You dumbass. You dumbass. Why are you taking the model one by one? Was it last time? Okay. Wait, I'm missing. I completely I'm missed my English. I, I can't really say. Same. I do good in Spanish. I don't know what I'm talking you're missing one day, boy. Did we do eight? We did eight. You did eight normally, right? I don't like to talk about the eight one. You oh, just okay. talked about the eight one, Kobe. Hmm? What's that? You would just talk about the eight one. I'm missing something, but I don't know what. Exactly. That is the only time I'm going to talk about it. But, <laughs> Never mind. The only time. All right. Okay. I hated it. Oh, you do geography too, Latoya? No. Oh, that was not Latoya. Oh, you just did one You do nine too? I did. Well, I did math early and then add math and sit. So yeah. Right. right yeah. I do HSP. Yeah. Yeah. French is optional for you. Yeah, or... Hmm. French is optional for you or mandatory? French? Yeah. Optional. Yeah. Well, we French have to do a language. Yeah. Oh. No, it was just compulsory that we had to do Spanish. I wouldn't mind learning both of them. I think it's a bit too late for us. Or maybe not. I don't know. And shall be speaking Spanish on Trinidad, so does that make sense? Um. Mm. It, what? And Chaguana is like a Spanish word. No, that's because we no. colonized by the Spaniards all those years ago. Yeah, in that way, all God knows that. The only, no, the only we need... We have a bunch of Spanish places. Yes. The only, like, significant, like, Spanish-speaking population is, like, the recent influx of Venezuelan immigrants, that's it. Mm -hmm. It's not, like, a mainstream <laughs> language. They just, they just spread out all over right now. Yeah, but it, like, wasn't even a thing really before that. Yeah, they were just there. Yeah. Some, uh, most of them were just basically Turks back then. If you wanted to but learn a language that would be like actually useful in Trinidad, probably Mandarin I'd put higher up. But Mandarin is a very difficult language. Mandarin? Chinese. I mean, well, yeah. Well, they're not synonymous, but yes. Yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah. sure. If you wanted to understand the Chinese people whenever they cuss up, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, when they buy talking yeah, in front of you, in the Chinese language. Yeah. You know? They don't really communicate with anybody much outside uh, outside there. The native language. Hmm. But geography, right? Like, we have this geography teacher. Kali could probably guess who this was. But she was like, explaining yeah. the difference between stalagmites and stalactite stuff. And I'll never forget this. She was like, yes, stalagmites, they're on the ground. And the you remember this is stalagmites spelled with a G for ground. And then stalactites, there's a C. So you remember, you remember that it's on the ceiling of the cave by saying that stalactites, C. For chandelier on the ceiling. No, <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I was like, yeah. why not just say Steve for sh she on the wrong. ceiling? ceiling. <laughs> she and then she's like, no, nope, this is yeah, how I remember. Uh, there's on the floor, so. <laughs> she ain't wrong. She's not wrong, I mean... per se. <laughs> why? <laughs> it's just very roundabout. <laughs> I mean, for those who. That's funny. Of those who do IQ enough to at least spell C with the S, you know, I, I I assume that is where she would get that. Uh, Maybe mischaracter. Uh, it was that, and she would pronounce Kobo as Kobox. Huh? I don't know what that word means. Yeah, Vulture. yeah, I don't understand. Do that know what is? No. Vulture. There's no Kobo. Uh, Vulture. Yes, yeah. that's what we call vultures. Yeah. Uh. Oh, oh, we just don't have vultures. Yeah, but instead of just using the French pronunciation, like you just say call box. I, 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 I don't know what's on there. 
That sounds like a Caribbean I thing. I feel she just didn't know how to put it. That's just like a Bayesian thing, actually, because Bayesians just like do not bamboo. care about trying to pronounce words correctly. It's for power. Any of you. Oh, there's other. What? Quizzy. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's spelled Quizzy. <laughs> Anyways, you're ready to get this? All right, we got oh, a list. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we ain't never seen this one yet. Oops. All right. Yeah, we are 20 minutes in, but like very prominent like this past week. And you could probably guess based on my username. But there was a nationwide blackout in Trinidad Tobago that lasted how long? Let me 12 see. hours, about 11, 12 hours. 12? You sure yeah. it's right shut around noon? I know it came back around me, so 12. Uh, yeah. That's why I said 11, 12 hours. It depends on where you were. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's around 11. But yeah, let yeah. me hear from Trinidadians. Can we go? It was ridiculous. Oh, I was. Ugh. I had. So. A while back, I went to Tobago, and I think we got bed bugs. So when I came back home, I was I had allergies like really badly for like two weeks straight. I had to go on like corticosteroids and stuff, and then you. it finally started to settle down. And then because of the blackout, I had to go outside and fill up water from the tap outside, and I got bitten by sandflies, and it made my allergies act up. So it was terrible. Oh god! I feel like you can sue, you know. <laughs> I find. <so. laughs> well, no, right. This like about this whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. Is that is that when TNT went with the power of Wasa also went with the waters? So it was like a utility free day for like 12 hours. Yep. I was like, what is going on with these people? But luckily for me, we had tank water and a pump. So we didn't really have to worry about water too much. More like. Oh, I just remember why I went to put on the list. What? I'll bring it up after this topic is done. Yeah, okay, so you just wanted to interject and cut everybody off just to see that welcome? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hate it. Too. Continue, Collie, please. Well, yeah. But yeah, um, the first few hours, it wasn't too bad. You know, we, I tried to limit the amount of power I was using. Luckily, I had a full charge before the power went out, so I had my phone on for the almost the entire day. I just played GBA games until I went bored. I think it was around. We had to buy candles and stuff before everything went dark. Yeah, that was organizing because at, around the area, people still had the supermarkets open, right? They were still selling. But the way they did it is that they closed the gates. They closed the gates away from people so, you know, people wouldn't go inside. And wherever they wanted, they were just selling from outside from outside the market right. and they were going in the dark with their flashlights or their lanterns or whatnot fetch the essential stuff that I needed and bring it for you outside who knows how they were selling that stuff the other day, but it didn't matter as long as they was getting them do oh yeah because you lost kind of anything yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit they were basically selling them essentials to the for, um, they was basically selling everybody essentials before it went dark with the gates closed and just selling them out in front. Nice. I know people was generally worried because I think I was up in Enterprise at the time and that, that as you know is a is a is a high criminal is is known for high is a high level. It's a high crime level place, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So I people was generally that. worried because you know people want to make mischief around this time and whatnot. So um yeah, so we try to stay in the house for most of the time. Any strange noises that we where we happen to f- hear outside, we were just like, we stayed like we stayed extremely quiet. And if it got loud, if we just ended up hiding in our next bedroom and whatnot, because we don't know who it was, we don't know what it could be, we don't know who it could be. You know, it's it's it's, it's a very scary experience. You know, but it's alright. We ended up playing with little house games. You remember, um. This game, boy, girl, animal, place thing, TV show. Yeah, we played that for like three hours. Holy shit. Before we got bored. <laughs> Y'all went through the entire <laughs> alphabet, boy. <laughs> yeah. Before we got bored, everybody went down to sleep. What's my ass get so by until 11 o'clock in the night. I just cast you without fan from that too. Hmm. But yeah, that was about it. That's the experience. Well, I'm glad everybody okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw some like in like the contract laws that 
if you know something like this is to happen, you're entitled to receive some of the cash back from TN Tech. I don't know like the process is supposed to go through to actually get our money back. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna go through that. Yeah, because it's the entire country. I love for the reason say I love for the reason be, well they post it on Facebook. I love for the first reason was like, yeah, um, we don't know what the hell went on, but I think later on, that no, it's because of that people thought it was like a sabotage because they was trying to protest at the ta- protest at the time as well because it wasn't getting yeah. it back or whatnot. But um, I think later found out that I think it was a main. It was some substation in South. That hill and the whole grid go down. Yeah, the whole thing went down. Yeah. So yeah. That just reminds me of like there were two power outages I remember when I was in primary school. One was caused because a monkey bit a power line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to think everything you have on say about Bobby. This is true, boy. <laughs> I was at the school, yes. There was another time when like I was like in school and I was just like sitting next to a window and I actually watched as a car just like drove into a pole that the power line was on. Um, I don't know the context behind why it happened. I just know that I was next to the window and I saw it as it happened. Who was your eyewitness? Um, I did witness with my eyes, yes. Thank you, Lachlan. I didn't really matter one other black but we had in Trinidad too. The, the only one other... I can't remember. I can't remember what was the cause of that one. I don't know if it was actual sabotage at the time. But at least thankfully for those two blackouts, I remember we had a full moon that night. So, of course, the sky was very bright at the time. Imagine if it wasn't. Boy. Yeah. But I do love a good full moon, though. Gives you that good illumination in the middle of the night. It activates my werewolf powers. What the hell are you all talking Possibly. about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anybody have anything else to say about the topic? That's about it. Okay, well, we're about halfway to. So, everybody go ahead. You can drink water. I'm water too far. Well, then don't drink. Gosh. Why hydrate when you can heat? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, Lachlan, you said you had something. It was just like a funny story I remember this week. I didn't get to see this playing out because I was asleep at the time. But uh-huh. there was some drama that unfolded. First of all, like earlier that same morning, some woman, some guy was getting aired out because apparently some like guy was really abusive and someone outed him. And then just as that was calming down, apparently some drama started up about the fact that some woman um <laughs> made pregnancy. Some woman what? what? She fake woman being pregnant. <laughs> So like no. I don't understand. I don't. I wasn't there for when this <laughs> played out, right? I have to go through our chats, like find like all the tweets about it. I wasn't there for when this all played out. But the story that I, from what I understand, what essentially happened was that this woman was pregnant, or everyone thought she was pregnant. Um, she like had the belly and everything. She had a baby shower, right? Right. Uh, and then <laughs> while all this was going, like she had, and then she like left the country, I think. And then after a certain point, someone checked on her. Oh, I found it. Someone checked on her. Um, I guess to see about like if she had the baby or not. And they asked her mother. And apparently, what had happened <laughs> was that her her mother revealed that she was not actually pregnant. But she wanted to get into event planning. So, so she faked uh-huh. pregnancy so that she could have a baby shower and then use the baby shower as a way to, like, I guess, promote her event planning abilities. Uh-huh. What the fuck? <laughs> well, like, oh, so there's this video, first of all, that, like, she made... <laughs> well, I remember oh, wanting to talk God. about this, but I completely forgot. Oh, you sent what did you send? Because it hasn't I come up. I sent the yet. video. Oh. What is this? What is this? is so weird. Hold on, let me, let me play this. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> People got around. 
<laughs> well, yeah, no, because like people were upset because like they bought gifts for the baby shower and then found out that like there was no shower, there was no baby. Okay, yeah, this oh is a God. woman who looks pregnant. Those are some nice she donuts. Sounds like a new pregnant. Yeah. Uh, what happened is that like ah. she apparently posted this picture of her. I don't know if this picture is real, but I think she apparently posted this picture of her with the baby. It is not real. <laughs> Oh, oh no! no. Yeah, but like, it's not a real image because, like, apparently this was the original image. Holy fuck! Not her. <laughs> it's not funny. Holy actually, shot her face on an actual picture with a woman and her child. Oh my lord! What the fuck? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Trinidad is not real place. It's not. This is about Beatles. Yeah. Bye bye. Got it. Oh god. Oh my god. This is a fictional place. Are you people mad, boy? What are you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because the, the guy who they thought was the baby daddy, when he came back, everyone was congratulating him on being a father. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so he, he just had to live through all this? Like, what the fuck was he doing? Uh, man, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> he was at the baby shower, though. <laughs> yeah. So he... Look when he cut on What is it? No, I was like, he, don't, he didn't know that that was... Like that, his everyone believes his girl was pregnant. I don't know, man. I do I... not know. Because like I saw this unfolding, and like I went digging to. I was supposed to be doing, mind you, I was supposed to be studying for my midterm. But like I went digging through all of this because I was like, "There's no way this is real." And so I, instead of studying, spent all of this time just trying to piece together this story. But like all of the original tweets got deleted. So, like, oh it was hard to, like, put it all together properly. <laughs> this is just... Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I need it, Ella, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, holy fuck. Anyway, yeah, that's all, that's all I have for this segment. You, you know what this reminds me of? Only <laughs> remember Carlisle. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. debate? No, it was this guy... <laughs> Who would like constantly tweet tell us about you know quote unquote funny conversations he would have, and it would be like, oh yeah, look at all the dramas going on in my life, and then somebody mm-hmm. figure out that he was actually just texting himself the whole time. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's nah. not it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and he not once has he ever tried to explain it. He was just like, yeah, I did that, and then he moved on. <laughs> well, at least, at least he, owned he owned up to it. <laughs> nah, but he a real one for that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he go back to doing that. Let me let me check. <laughs> he admitted to it. Good for him. Yeah. I don't even know what he's saying. Oh well. Mm. Moving wow. on. So next up, I want us to talk about, and you can see it there, in Lachlan's name, Ballsack Sports. Explain this. What does What's this mean? Oh, is that where that came from? I just put it there because Latoya said it. <laughs> You know, I just said that randomly? Yes. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just... Anyway, yeah, but Ballsack Sports is a parody account of Barstool Sports. And okay. what they do is that they, you know, make up quotes and news about, like, NBA players. Wow. And then just tweets them out. <laughs> and sometimes other media accounts don't do their due diligence in terms of reporting and can be found quoting quotes oh, no. from Balzac oh, Sports. No. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find some good examples, but basically it's kind of funny to see how much people just take this and run with it. Oh no. Hmm. Uh, I just want you to go on right now, but yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Golly? Oh. 
Oké. Okay. Kolí? Ja, oké. Hé? Dat is een Rosen Franklin. Wat is dat? Oké, dit is een goede one. Uh, well, I guess it's funny if you know like a body shit that he talking about, but yeah. I think the British should have a lot of time to stick to it. This is a completely fake quote. Mm-hmm. My life on the line, I'm probably talking MV. I think it makes me great conversation. I'm blessed to coach one of the very best in the stuff. Yeah, he's, Steve Kern, who is the old man. He's just a fake quote about a coach saying that he doesn't believe that his, you know, best shooter ever, Steph Curry, is as good as Michael Jordan in terms of shooting. Jonathan, is Steph Curry as good as Michael Jordan? In terms Better of than Michael Jordan. You owe me $50. Just because mm-hmm. shooting. It's a natural mm-hmm. shooter. Brown being out loud. I immediately jumped on that jazz school for He believes that LeBron Strain <laughs> is flawless and wasn't able... Mm-hmm. What? You believe that LeBron Strain is flawless? I wasn't able to play according to both sides. Oh, right, yeah, he tweeted out it. something about, you know, LeBron not being able to play because he sprained his dick and somebody believed it and bets on the game because <laughs> of that. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it's just a quote about Ennis Freedom, who goes on Fox News to, you know, praise America because he got ousted from his home country of Turkey. And he's just uh, talking about, like, yeah, I'm bigger than you know, LeBron <laughs> because of my human rights activism. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no human rights activism occurs on Fox News. Yeah, see? So... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of these. It's just a sad indictment of the state of media literacy in the world. How do you just, like, fully accept things from a account called Volsax? Volsax. You are dumb. <laughs> People are fucking dumb. Mm-hmm. But like, just believe it wholeheartedly. Yep. Apparently. But he's, oh. he's taking it a next step further, right? Like, he started making, like, accounts of fake reporters to teach shit out to. Oh, <laughs> and no. it's like, yeah, reporting for ball time sports here. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Go, ball sack. Good old ball sack. Good old ball sack. Love me some ball sack. Dash did not have Anyways. Anybody have uh, anybody, uh, anything else to say about, I guess, fake news in general? Um, Donald Trump. Good on them because what? people are stupid. What wall they were going to build? That what? What? The wall. Wall? The wall. What are you talking about? You said fake news, and then Colin said Donald Trump, and now I'm thinking about the wall. <laughs> <laughs> when the Titans come, they'll all be sorry. Ooh. Anyway, you're, you're, all right, you're all good to move on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I support the Jaeger movement. The what? Nothing. You support the what, Colin? <laughs> Nothing! I didn't even hear what you said. What did you see? I didn't say anything. It's <laughs> you know this is being recorded, right? You are on the record. I can go back and find out what you said. So what did you see? <laughs> Don't worry about this. Spoiler. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. Too anyway. much. <laughs> what we will see uh, up next, right? So last week we talked about the man formerly known as Kanye West. And there's some updates to the story. What so, was that about? Right, as we last oh. recalled, he was beaten oh. with Pete Davidson in an imaginary rivalry. And Pete <laughs> Davidson's like, bro, I, I I don't want anything to do with this. Like, you can parent your kids as much as you want. And Kanye's like, fuck you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a guy who look, looks like Kanye, right? That is your thing? What? What? Like, what? He looks like Kanye or no? No. 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 Okay. Well, I do absolutely not. Go ahead. I'll keep <laughs> <laughs> right, so like randomly, he was just like, like he posted all his Instagram, like, yeah, okay, I realized here of my ways, I'm gonna stop, like, you know, all caps fam posting on Instagram to go harass people. I realized it's getting me way of me getting what I want, and this is not the way forward for me and my family. 
And then the very next day, he was just back to, just back to fucking yelling at me. Oh, wait, for real? Yeah. <laughs> very next day. Didn't last. <laughs> oh, no. Else, okay. And then, okay, well, this is the part I really want to talk about. He said that, you know, streaming services, they don't pay the artists properly. So his way around this is he's going to sell his album for $200 to a STEM player. Was a STEM oh, player. <laughs> what? I was talking, let me let me Google that right now. This I'm finally gonna find what? out what he was talking about. Them player. Customize any desperately song. in need of money. Mm-hmm. Apparently, just... stem player is a thing that came exclusively with the first album. With Donda number one. <laughs> what? How does that help with all information? It it's it's a like an iPod exclusively for Kanye albums. No, <laughs> oh, I, no, I hate it here. <laughs> all you talk, you know the Kanye fans will eat that up. I mean, yeah, there's oh, no, people that sure buy it, but that. like, I don't think this is the way to really get in the industry to reform the way you wanted to. This not gonna help. This is bullshit. I have an iPod specifically for me and me alone. <laughs> if you try to play any other author's music in it, it will self-destruct. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it works exactly. <laughs> Just, that is insane. It's basically an iPod that he shipped out with the first Donda album, and I was like, yeah, Donda 2 only available through this. <laughs> I don't know if you follow through with it, but if he does, it'll be hilarious. I, mean, I would not be surprised like, if he oh, does. He's just talking about running for president, and then... I mean... <sighs> anyway, I... so yeah, that was that. Have, like, business people to tell him that that's not a good idea? I was gonna idea. say, his poor team. I mean, we've seen what his team has been dealing with for the past couple of years yeah. now. Yeah! <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, there's some, like, interest- intricacies to the situation, because it's like, I saw somebody say, you know... What's the difference between like what Kanye is doing and like, you know, just the fact that the keeping up with the Kardashians show exists, just kind of valid. What's the difference? That's still going on. What? <laughs> Please, what is the okay, so it's, yeah, it's just like you know, putting your family in the public eye like that. Okay, oh. but like that shows at least you know scripted and moderated. Yeah, and he's just. Yeah. Kanye is just doing whatever. Like, nothing we don't want to see comes out versus Kanye is just like, you know. Harassing Pete Davidson. Yeah. <laughs> <And> Billy Eilish. <laughs> Billy Eilish, Kid Cudi, uh, anybody else? I I can't he had like the cops he had the Civil War poster. I can't remember. Holy yeah, that, was <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. That post. was really funny. Yes, this is the way I get my children back. I make civil war memes on Instagram. Mm-hmm. This will for sure. Yeah. Get me custody. Like, hmm. He took the picture he, down. He just needs help. Let me just Google Kanye with Civil War. We'll check on Twitter. <laughs> oh, I remember, like, we were talking about this last week and how, like, people have just been, like, memeing about it. I remember, like, I saw this week, I was, like, on Instagram and I saw a girl that I followed posted, like, it was, like, the Instagram post where he posts, like, himself talking to Kim and Kim's, like, freaking out because she's, like, why do you keep, like, Posting our conversations, please stop. Yeah, and then sh- he's just like, "Well, why would I not want to post like conversations with my favorite person?" And she, and then like the girl posts that in her story, and her only caption is, "This man is funny," and I'm like, "Dog." <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "Well, I love the energy." I'm like, "I feel like you should not want that kind of energy." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that is the yeah, one thing with Julia Fox. Too. What's up, guy? <laughs> Uncut jams. Skeet is Pete Davidson. That's what he's calling him. Oh yeah. But yeah, Julia Fox. She was just like, yeah, I, I was hustling him. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> so so uh, that's of course cool. I wasn't in love with him. I'm not 12 years old. Was that what she sounds like? I've not seen the movie. The movie. Is Uncut Gems not a movie? Oh yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I don't even know what she was talking about. <laughs> I didn't see it. Jumps. I just know the song clip. 
Wait, who's the random woman on Team Kanye? Is that not Julia Fox? Julia Fox. Oh, sorry, I was not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is Taylor Swift doing here? <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. he never ended. <laughs> He's still holding on to that. Taylor Swift yeah. has nothing to do with this. Why is yeah. Future here? <laughs> that is a really good question. <laughs> Why is Future involved? I don't know. Like, I could maybe understand Drake. Boy, <laughs> Drake. Anyway. Oh, uh, Kanye West fans, please come get your mans. <sighs> we, we like, 45 minutes in, and it's like, yeah, that's all I had to talk about, so... Uh, anyway, back to State Farm. Right, yeah. Insurance policy, that's all. That's all <laughs> what kind of, y'all got life insurance? How the fuck we gonna have life insurance? Lock on. We are students. My mother did try to put me on life insurance, actually. No. Oh. There was, like, a time when, like, she went on this, like, whole thing about how she thought I should take out life insurance for future investment. And then me, having done one actuarial science course, had to go up to her and tell her that is a horrible idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because, like... I'm not going to turn this into an entire discussion on life insurance policies. That's the, oh. that's where I'm leaving it. Nice. Unless I want to know. <laughs> no, we we good. We good. Yeah. Uh, well, it's reading week. So Kelly and Lachlan, do you have any interesting plans for reading week? Work. Congratulations. Thanks. I do have something right, to catch up on. What day are you going to Toronto? I don't know. You're going to Toronto. Oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming back on the 30th of April. Nice. I'll That's see you then. Reading. Well, maybe not then, then, but like eventually. We eventually. will see you eventually. Yeah, you, you, we'll be there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I'm busy like next Saturday. I know you said you wanted to like hang out at some point, like I'm just, you know. I mean, I didn't necessarily say that. I think I said I was going to be in Toronto. You said I will also be in Toronto. No, I mean, like, just like come over and play video games. Oh, yeah, yeah, Well, like, we could chat with, like, Alistair and then... then. Do um, that. You I'm do also that. going... Because I'm going to Toronto tomorrow, and I'll be there until, like, Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't, like, fully decided, but... Hmm. Anyone can stalk you off of this information. <laughs> Toronto is it's a very scary. big place. If you are in the people. greater Toronto area, look out for the sixth floor Bayesian man. Probably wearing something <laughs> stupid. How are they going to know I'm Probably wearing a red hoodie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, fuck you because I'm wearing that hoodie right now. Probably looking <laughs> real dumb. Um, real dumb. Yeah. If you say you know him from school, he will just accept it. The sad thing is, no, I know. Okay, if you say you know me from school, I will not accept it. But if you just in general come up to me and act like you know me, I will probably assume. Why are you giving all this information for free, Lachlan? No, did I not tell the story <laughs> about the man who was promoting his album to me? You might have. Oh. I told this story to someone like within the last two weeks, but I don't think it was here. Uh, I'm the toy. I might remember this because she was there. I was. You remember? Okay, so like, I've gotten really good at talking to people without knowing who they are. Oh my God. <laughs> and that sense for my father because like, from the time I was young, I would grow up like we would go out together. Every- and like, my father's a very well known person. I think my mother too to some extent, but like. Every time we're out, he will run into someone he knows and he'll start like a conversation with them. He'll like ask around and stuff about him and everything. And as the person leaves, you ask him, who was that? And he'll just look at you and go, I have no idea. <laughs> and so watching him do that, I've gotten really good at like just, you know, assuming that like I got really good at like telling when people know who I am, even if I don't know who they are. And then just acting as though I know who they are to like, keep the conversation going until i figure it out and so this like where there's like a way that people will approach you that's different if they know you versus if they don't know you right so then there was a time we were at i think we i had just filmed an episode of the podcast actually i think that was the time when we had the episode of the podcast where we talked about desserts or the cake argument um and then we were going to see a movie what is going on? What is that sound? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. But yeah, we were going to see a movie and this guy like walks up to me and he's like, hey, hey, and he says it in like a really friendly way. So immediately like, I just like, like... <laughs> Yes. 
except he was very skinny. But like the guy walks up to me and like he just says like hi to me in like a friendly way. So my brain immediately kicks in like I know this person. I have to engage with this person. Like I know this person. Then I look at this person. He's wearing like jean shorts, <laughs> um, like a messy white t-shirt, like messy sneakers, and he has like really long messy dreads. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I like someone Lachlan would not associate with. Yeah, like. Because I immediately look at him and I'm like, I'm very sure I do not know this person. And I'm also very sure that none of my parents know this person. Because usually it's either I know the person or it's someone that my parents know who recognize me through them and then come to talk to me because they know my parents. So like, yeah. like I'm still like, this is all happening so fast. So I'm still like, okay, let me engage as though I know this person because he seems to know me. And then we're talking and talking and then... I'm still trying to figure out how I know this person. And then he's just like, oh, so have you listened to the album yet? And I realized, oh, he does not know me at all. He's just trying to sell his music. Like, I... uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I just got out of the situation as quickly as possible because I had someone with me. So I was like, oh, yeah, sorry, we're going to a thing. And then I left. Yeah, man. That's that. Com- but yes, if you like come up to me and speak to me as though you know who I am, I will probably believe you because well like maybe not necessarily he actually no in canada too i've had people shout me in foreign countries before like we've been in the uk and then random people like have just noticed us off the street and like come to say hi to us huh. so like i i if you come and say hi to me i will recognize you luckily for me i could recognize faces but you see names <laughs> don't even what up me with names you see once i know your face i was like yeah i know this person so i was like yeah what's the name it's like, yeah, that's how I get to familiarize myself with you. I'm very good at identifying faces. You're good on like, I don't know, because I like, also I always still, get I can still make up my primary school friends, like from since primary school. Of course, they wouldn't remember me, but I was like, oh, yeah, I remember I used to go to school with this person. Can't remember the name, though. Remember some fake so, primary like, school boy. I mean, it's already number name, so mm-hmm. only my I'm yeah, that's just, only my mind that chooses to remember them. So mm-hmm. I feel like you? I feel like your primary school friends should remember you, and I say that as someone who had no friends in primary school, and therefore is kind of me. I mean, the true, I mean, the true friends on them. I mean, yeah, they would pick them up. Like I know one of them, but one of my close friends, actually two of them. They are oh, they are going anyway right now. I don't know if they finished this subject though. I, I, they're supposed to be finished by now, but yeah. Those are my two closest friends from primary school. I didn't know they were rich so far. So cross on them actually. You know? Yeah. One of my friends so, from primary yeah. school called me and I don't know how to feel about that. What? Or at least we assume. We started talking, like we were I like I saw him at an event and we came and he sat down next to me and we talked sitting down for a while. And he was like, oh, yeah, everyone says I'm taller than you now. And I'm like, yeah. But then we never actually tried to compare, so that's still a mystery. Interesting. And I kind of don't want to know, because if he is, then that's, like, me losing the only thing I have. Um, demoralizing you by height alone. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, my cousins might be taller than me. And I'm very upset about that, because, like, that's removing my entire standing in the family. All I have to say is, if you have to look up at them at any given point in time, most likely they are taller than you. Even I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> most likely. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think I've ever had to look up at anyone. Okay, okay. Yeah. Don't worry, Lachlan, I don't look up to you. <laughs> because I haven't seen you in two years. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> Look, start with you first. Close the remarks, please. Me? Yeah, because you're completely new. All earlier. people in the shins. Okay, Kali. Okay, yeah. Kali? My excitement is immeasurable. And my day is fine. <laughs> Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Kelly? Lachlan? Whenever <laughs> next time I, <laughs> I, I will feel their Wait. belongings and then just hold them high in the air and watch them squirm. Please, please, let me see me. Got to go the way to the floor. Before yours, Kelly. <laughs> <You're flexing me. laughs> um, don't do mechatronics at you, Waterloo. You don't do mechatronics anymore. Don't call you Waterloo. What a glowing endorsement. 
Okay. Well, okay, thank you for coming out. Uh, this week's something brought to you by Colin. Nah. Kelly. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 Kelly is so cute. Kelly, I love you. Kelly, it's so good I am. Okay, wait, who, who did I'm last week? Kelly on TikTok, but after what I've seen, I'm scared. Wait, what do you mean, what have you seen? Sharma what posted you about you sending her 74 TikToks in one day. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I was bad, no. It's mostly cute cat and dog videos. So I just yeah, want to share the love. Uh, oh, if anything about Kelly, she stays consistent. <laughs> oh boy. Um, hold on. Let me. Okay. So I did the one the week before. The week before that was me. Before that was Lachlan. Kelly, it looking like you, you know. It looking like you, boy. It looking like you, so I I could wait a little bit. What do you mean wait a little bit? You can wait days for it to do. No. <laughs> What do you think I need for you? I just need that I don't even what to do anything right now, dog. I, I don't know what to do. Alright, alright. Um, okay, take, 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 take. Take, take. I, I, I just want to play, play this song. Cutting the episode. I, I just want to play this song, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me just leave. Bye. 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 Bye.